Hey, uh, welcome back to part two uh, of my little haul video. Um, now, this uh, the first little section is basically going to be uh, something that's kind of a I suppose you could call it like an impulse buy. Uh, to a degree, uh, because um, I don't really know exactly what I'm going to use them for. Um, in fact, I'll probably, to tell the truth, I probably should have put them into my core space uh, video, because uh, um, that's probably where they're going to end up. So basically, I've decided to pick up a, a, a box of these um, Eisenkern Panzerjagers from the War Games Atlantic uh, sort of Germany sci-fi range. Um, now the reason why I decided to do this was because the, all these characters are females um, and I'm always out for looking for cool uh, sort of sci-fi uh, troop types um, and I thought the fact that all these guys are females is quite cool and like I say I think I'm, I might as well have put these guys into my core space video because I think I'm actually going to make them into uh, an elite unit within core space uh, that the characters can either uh, make friends with, or perhaps uh, a lot worse option of of make enemies of. Um, but yeah, they they look really nice. The 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 sprues are loaded with all sorts of various options you can you can convert, uh, and I'm quite looking forward to doing them. Um, and plus, I got them for a really really good price actually. Uh, so that is um, the Eisenkern Panzerjager, uh, which are really like I say, I should have really put the boos into my uh, into my core space uh, video. So that's probably what they're going to get used for. Okay, next up, uh, let's we'll go for the uh, book. Uh, now I picked this up uh, quite a, quite a while ago, uh, maybe five or six weeks ago. Now, um, now this is uh, as, as you all know. Um, I do plan on at some point doing a six millimeter uh, English Civil War army, uh, and, I, and I, I saw somebody post a picture up of this book, um, and I thought that you know what. Um, that looks really interesting. I'm, I'm going to try and hunt it down. Um, now I did find it on Amazon, um, but at that particular point, now I'm not sure if the the actual search algorithm's been changed. But um, if you, I found that if you just type in the title, uh, it doesn't actually come up. Now whether it comes up like 20 pages down uh, the search engine, I don't know. Um, but I think what I did in the in the end to, to find it quicker was I just typed in English Civil War flags. Uh, Red Crest publication, and, and that seemed to bring it up uh, pretty much spot on. Now, uh, I've got to say, I, th I think this book was just £11 something, and it's really interesting. It's, it basically goes into um, all the different types uh, of uh, variations of flags that you can find, and how they were, um, the various systems that they used to, to denote uh, whose flags they were. And then it goes rather kindly into uh, showing all the infantry flags. Um, I think it's all infantry. It's not. I don't think there's any cavalry. Um, but it's. Uh, it looks. It, it, I haven't like probably read through it, but I've just fl flicked through it, and it looks a really interesting little book. And uh, obviously, if you're into English Civil War, then uh, it's definitely a cool little book to have in your uh, collection. So that is that. Put that down there for a second because I need two hands to get it back into my bookcase. Now the second part um, of this video I might go into a little bit more detail on. Uh, so I basically decided to um, pick up a couple of Rubicon kits uh, that I've had my eye on for for quite a time. Um, now the first one is a uh, M1340. Um, which is, a, 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 if you've watched perhaps some of my videos before, you know that this is like my favourite Italian tank. Um, I've got two of them already, uh, Warlord ones. Um, I've actually got like a desert Italian bolt action army um, that I've never actually played, uh, unfortunately. Um, but I've always wanted to get uh, three uh, M1340s, and this, uh, when I saw that they actually did these, because they seemed to release it a little bit under the radar, and I didn't really find out about it until a couple of months ago um, they basically uh, uh, you thought you know that's really cool and there happened to be another kit uh, that I had my own for a long time and it seemed to keep selling out uh, so uh, just one I think it was one day a couple of weeks ago um, I was on Facebook and they said uh, up comes like the post on the Rubicon page uh, and they said that they have it you know, like a 15% off uh, sale so I, just, I said you know what I haven't 
Um, I haven't spent any of my hobby um, budget uh, that particular month uh, because I'd already had everything that I needed uh, in. Um, I'll I'll take a punt and, and and just see if I mean I was pretty sure this would be in stock. But I, was, I was unsure if my, the second model I wanted would be in stock. Um, and uh, so I took a chance, and, and strangely enough, they both were. So uh, this is, like I say, um, you can see what it is, uh, Karamato M1340. Um, it also gives you the option to uh, turn it into a Sevamente Commando. Uh, and the coolest thing about this tank is that it comes with a Pinatore machine gun, which is really, really cool. Um, and I just thought um, I'll just give you a quick... A look at the inside because um, I do really like uh, Rubicon kits. So here are the instructions. Uh, you can see that it's only two sprues. Uh, the tracks are uh, ready formed on the looks of it, so you, uh, no no worries about tracks. Um, you get a lovely uh, collection of. Uh, Italian uh, transfers including the number plates which is something that uh, the Warlord kit doesn't give you uh, and as you can see uh, it looks a really simple kit to put together in fact I would say um, that maybe it might possibly be a little bit more fiddly than than uh, perhaps the uh, Italiari Warlord kits uh, but I'm pretty sure that this one would go together better um, than, than those kits um, and now, obviously, I'm, I've got to say, I'm not a massive fan of the tank crew figures that come with Rubicon kits. Um, but it does so happen that I've actually got a box of uh, Perry's Italian tank commanders. Uh, I've got quite, quite a few of those left uh, from from, uh, from a long time ago. So that is basically uh, what you get in the pack. You, you get your two sprues. And uh, I guess this is perhaps the turret for the command tank which you which obviously you won't need if you're doing the the uh, m the m1340 so that's a quick look inside the box of the m1340 so let's chuck that back in the box and i'll show you the next uh, kit now this kit that's coming up um i kind of even though I don't, I didn't really want to uh, particularly add it to my German army, and, and and I guess you could say that the reason I got it was perhaps to build it more than to actually game with it, um, and that is the uh, Rubicon uh, King Tiger Two, uh, which is uh, an absolutely amazing model. Um, now the cool thing about this particular model uh, is that. Uh, is the options and stuff that you can actually do. You can see it comes in a huge box. Um, if we turn it around, um, you can actually see that the uh, model comes with a full detailed interior, uh, which is amazing. Uh, and you also actually get the magnets that lock it all together again. So you, you are getting a um, a highly detailed uh, 156 kit. Um, with the option of uh, not building the interior at all if you want. Uh, so if you're like a, a you know a more of a gamer than a modeler, you can uh, use the easier option and and uh, zap the other a basic model. And if you want the full detail of the interior, uh, then you can use uh, the interior parts that come with it. And like I say, you actually get magnets with it as well uh, that allow it to uh, stick together. Which I think is awesome, and of course the other cool thing is that you actually, you actually get some photo etch with it, and you also get a, a full crew of five figures too. And these are the full size figures, uh, not just like part part figures. Um, and I've got to admit, um, they're a lot better than just the half figures. Um, they they seem to I always find the sort of the half the half body uh, Rubicon tank crew commanders, especially from their earlier tanks, were a little bit odd looking. Um, and uh, I've got to say that's kind of carried over a little bit more into the Italian kit rather than uh, this one but this one because they're kind of full bodied figures uh, I think look uh, more proportionate and, and look a lot better 
Uh, so uh, again, I'll, I'll uh, give you a quick look in, inside uh, this box. Now this box opens up uh, by two flaps uh, either end, which is a little odd. So let's get that open. Take the top off. And if I... Zap this down. Like that. You can see inside the box. So here we have the instructions. Now obviously the instructions are a little bit more complicated than uh, the um, the Italian tank. Um, I mean the tracks are uh, multi-part but it's all laid out uh, in nice diagrams. Um, all the, the road wheels and stuff all look like they're all connected together so that shouldn't be too hard. And you're basically getting a, obviously a lot of this you won't use if you're not building the interior. Uh, but it's basically a, oh, it doesn't actually say how many pages it is. Um, but there's basically 53 steps in total if you want to build the, the, the full interior. Um, now some of those might be for the alternate, because you get, you get a, a different version of turret. Uh, you get a production turret and you get an early turret. Um... But it looks awesome, and here's here's some pictures of the crew. So uh, you get your uh, driver, your gunner, your radio operator, your loader, and your commander. There, and uh, the engine, uh, which some people might think, well, the engine's going to be really difficult to put together. Uh, but the engine is actually just uh, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven pieces, so uh, you're not going to have too much trouble sticking that together. Um, but yeah, uh, really, really cool model. Let's give you a quick look at the, uh, some of the sprues in here. Um, so this is one, two, there's your photo etch, the, the grills, air tape grills, uh, four, five turrets in total, uh, five sprues in total. Um, and if you're wondering where the magnets are, um, Actually, it's six, six sprues, sorry. Um, and uh, here's some of the... Uh, you can see that a lot of the interior is actually already built. Um, there's the crew. Uh, now, the magnets are actually uh, rather coolly uh, put into the this uh, little holder on the sprue here, which is kind of cool. Uh, and I think there's three magnets in there. Um, oh, actually, uh, there could be another sprue. So, one, two... Three, four, five, no, six sprues. The last sprue being all the track stuff. Um, and you can see the some of the most of the road wheels are actually stuck together. Uh, so you just stick uh, the other ones on top of that. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's more or less the end of this. So I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope it wasn't too long, and I'll catch you all. Uh, don't worry, I have been doing uh, a battalion. Um, a, a French battalion uh, which is all but finished um, I think I'll uh, probably I think I'm, I'm, I'm working on the last six figures now and they're probably uh, probably about 80, 85, 90 possibly even above that done so maybe another hour's work on them and they will be done uh, and then it's just a case of basing them and um, varnishing them and basing them basically uh, so I'll probably I'll definitely finish those guys by Monday, uh, and I'll have a video up uh, pretty soon after that. So uh, again, uh, thanks again to some extra subscribers. Um, uh, it's, I've got to say it's taken me a bit by surprise. Um, Seeing I went through a real um, nasty patch of for some bizarre reason losing subscribers, uh, and now I've managed to gain um, another. I think I'm up to 429 or something uh, now, which is uh, amazing. Uh, so thank you all to, uh, to to those guys. Hope you enjoy the content, and uh, as always, uh, a big thank you to everyone else uh, who follows follows my channel. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm uh, the best uh, narrator or uh, even the best uh, filmer of videos, uh, but uh, hopefully you enjoy. Uh, will I plug out and uh, that just leave you with a last picture of the uh, Tiger 2 as I say goodbye. 
So until next time, catch you all later. Bye-bye.